Hello traders and investors, welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. In today's video, we're going to cover a couple of companies. Some of these companies will be releasing their results. As you see that uh, the information that uh, you can find is coming from Earnings Whisper. Earnings Whisper has a Twitter account. You can follow their Twitter account and then you can get uh, something similar to this. But some of the companies that you're going to be looking at are companies that are interesting in terms of their chart, the technical uh, setups. So we're going to be looking at uh, five companies today. You can find some fundamental information about these companies on their respective uh, company website if you're interested in their fundamental information. You can see that this coming week we're expecting to see earnings from companies like uh, Charles Schwab, Bank of America, Johnson & Johnson, Netflix, some people have invested in Lockheed uh, Martin. This is a government military contractor. So we know with everything that is happening in Russia and Ukraine, some of these companies uh, are benefiting from that. We also have companies such as uh, Morgan Stanley. There is Tesla. A lot of people are interested in Tesla. There is uh, Steel Dynamics. We saw how uh, the steel performed in the last uh, two weeks. There is the Taiwan uh, Semiconductor Company, American Express. The people that are interested in telecommunications, there is AAT and T Mobile, and also there is a Procter and Gamble. We know some people they love um, those businesses that seem uh, to have a moat or that have been in business for a very long time, and they they have sort of a competitive advantage. And some of these companies they continue to pay a uh, consistent dividends. So the company that we're gonna start looking at uh, is Ferrari. Uh, the share code of Ferrari is called Race. Remember, Ferrari is an Italian company, but we are looking at Ferrari at the New York Security Exchange. We are not looking at the uh, Milan Stock Exchange. So we want to find uh, the information in terms of uh, the US dollar, not uh, whatever currency that uh, the Italians are using. I think it's the euro. So what do we see uh, from Ferrari at this moment? We see that uh, Ferrari has came to trade above uh, this level. So this is an interesting level uh, to us. We see that it was the previous high of just somewhere around uh, $275 uh, per share. And then last week we see that there was this uh, breakout breaking all the way to 285 And that happened with a decent amount uh, of volume. What you should note though is that now this gap between that breakout level and the current uh, share price and whatever price the stock is going to open the following day uh, on the new security exchange that also increase the risk that uh, you can take in that uh, position. We showed uh, in past videos that whenever uh, there is a breakout, sometimes there is a breakout or a, a retest of the breakout. If it happens, then we can consider taking a position uh, on Ferrari. But also if you are comfortable with this risk uh, level, you can just uh, buy Ferrari at the current uh, level as it is. But just keep in mind that if there is a potential pullback move to retest this uh, previous breakout level, then there will be a bit of a pullback uh, on your position as well. So if you decide to take this position, do think uh, about that uh, possibility. Right? Like I said, you can get the information. Uh, you can see here there's the Ferrari website. You can find all the information about the Ferrari website. I was just trying to look at this um, the documents for year 2022, you can see that there is a report that was released in February 2023. It's just a, a big report. If there is something that you think you can find value from this report, then you can try to get uh, information about uh, that, uh, about that uh, information on Ferrari, how the company as a business uh, is performing. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to look uh, at that information. But as things stand, we love this breakout. And then we are looking to initiate a position uh, on Ferrari. Okay. Then the second stock uh, is Mac and Company. This is a pharmaceutical company. Uh, previously, we released a video saying that uh, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, they were sending an application to the FDA, the Food and Drug uh, Administration in the U.S., to get uh, some approval. So the thing with pharmaceutical companies, from time to time, there will be news uh, about something, whether it's an FDA approval or rejection, but there's always going to be news because they keep on trying to come up with products that they can continue to sell uh, to their customers. 
So why are we interested uh, in MAC? We see MAC it came to trade above this level at just before the end of 2022, early 2023. So now there was that uh, pullback coming. You can see here it has just been trading uh, in a range. At this moment, the stock is above at that range and it is uh, promising to break above uh, this level. But obviously, the other alternative is that the stock can pull back uh, to come and retest this $100 region. But since we are looking for a buying opportunity, we are keeping uh, an and optimistic view that the share price can continue to trade higher so we are looking to buy a mac and company at this current share price of about 115 dollar per share with the hope that the share price is going to continue to go up if you look at the volume for the past three weeks there was a period of accumulation but that volume is not as high as what uh, we saw uh, previously so because the lack of that volume we would like uh, the ideal scenario is that the volume is just uh, above that uh, above average volume then that can co uh, be more convincing that the upward move is more likely uh, to happen so instead of jumping straight uh, and taking in, in, and taking that position i think that it's better to just uh, set up a buy stop order just above a uh, 116 117 there that can give us a confirmation but also we're looking at the weekly chart then during the course of the week we will drill down on the daily chart to see what is uh, the setup there perhaps be uh, in the daily chart there might be a day that has an above average uh, volume so that will be more convincing that uh, the upward move is happening okay so we spoke about uh, netflix uh, most people they know what netflix is uh, it's a video streaming uh, services uh, or company it has been performing well upside down we know that from 2020 coming all the way to about uh, just before the end of 2021 it traded all the way reaching uh, as high as uh, 700 uh, us dollar per share before uh, it came down crashing there with uh, a lot of things in the stock market they just uh, came crashing so what we see here is that uh, netflix seemed to have uh, found a bottom somewhere just uh, near 200 uh, dollar per share since then the stock has been uh, attempting uh, to rally we've also had a couple of videos where we were covering a uh, netflix we bought a uh, netflix uh, i think when it broke above this level as you can see there was that a uh, pullback on this breakout but within a couple of weeks the stock came back to break above this level again before reaching this uh, resistance level from there you can see that there was that pullback and the stock is trying to move uh, up uh, again at this moment we don't have a position we are waiting to see if netflix can come back uh, to trade above this uh, potential resistance level if there is a breakout here uh, accompanied by decent volume then we will look uh, to add uh, to that uh, position we'll just for the time being we'll have a buy stop order just above this level so that if the stock come with the result and the market interprets those results as positive then at least we get uh, our position we don't get uh, to wait for a long time so we're just going to have a buy stop order here and then we will see where we set uh, our stop loss but if the price of netflix break below this level then we will continue to sit uh, on the sideline waiting to see what is going to happen whether it comes back to trade below this level or it find a uh, support uh, at this level but as things stand we don't have a position on netflix uh, either for us the most important thing uh, is risk management it's not about just uh, chasing positions because you can have a position if the position is not working for you then there is no point uh, keeping that position and then looking at uh, tesla we traded tesla previously there was a time when tesla broke above uh, this level so we took a position tesla went up to reach that uh, 220 before it started uh, to pull back even from that breakout uh, support i mean that breakout retest the move uh, was promising but then tesla came out with uh, the car delivery numbers they delivered around uh, 400,000 cars but the market was not uh, impressed with uh, those numbers again we are waiting to see how the stock is going to perform this week at the moment we don't have a position what we are looking to do we are looking to buy tesla if it breaks uh, above this level we can have a buy stop order just uh, above this level so that we capture that move uh, when it happens but remember especially with uh, earnings sometimes there will be gaps let's say tesla come with a positive result the stock can just uh, create a gap meaning that even though our buy stop order would be somewhere around 
215 then that trade can be triggered above a 225 you see here tesla had a, a gap in there so if you had a buy stop order here and then the opening price was there that means that your order will be filled uh, here instead of that uh, price that you have set up so these are some of the things that you need to understand when you use things such as a uh, buy stop orders uh, or stop loss uh, orders anything uh, can happen but it is a great risk uh, management tool once again we are saying that uh, we will be interested in buying tesla once uh, it breaks above uh, this level we will have a buy stop order we don't have a tesla position uh, at the moment we have other positions in other stocks but not uh, tesla and then lastly let us look at the taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company again make sure that you're looking at the new york security exchange because if you write the full name uh, tsmc then you start to see the stock uh, in different exchanges but in the uh, new york security exchange it's just uh, a simple tsm so for this company we do have a position but now we are monitoring that a position we bought tsm when it broke uh, above this level it was just around uh, 88 dollars so you can see the stock it came to trade just a uh, shy of a hundred dollar per share but since then the stock has been just uh, bouncing up uh, moving sideways so now we're waiting to see how this uh, sideway movement is going to play the ideal scenario is that the stock it continue to come back to this resistance and eventually it breaks above uh, this resistance level then we can expect tsm to continue to trade uh, further up there that is the ideal scenario but now depending on how the results are gonna come and how people are gonna interpret the price if tsm close up uh, below this level then we will exit uh, our long position at this moment we have a stop i think our stop is just around uh, 86 dollars so if the share price of tsm dips a bit we can easily be stopped and then again another caveat is that if the stock breaks below uh, 86 and it triggers our stop we will be out of the position but if the stock come back close the week above uh, 87 it means that we will be stopped out but the share price will continue uh, to move uh, further up so once again this highlights uh, the importance of not just having risk management but understanding the consequences uh, of risk uh, management we can see in the past uh, two weeks it seems like uh, people have been uh, offloading their tsm shares we see there's a lot of uh, distribution what we want to see is a lot of these uh, green days because it shows us that uh, people are accumulating uh, these shares so these are some of the companies uh, or some of the setups because this <laughs> here we are looking for trade opportunities look using technical analysis so we are not necessarily looking at a specific companies that we want to buy we are just looking at setups so that we can see we can identify low risk uh, end levels and then uh, exploit those uh, opportunities so using technical analysis uh, for trading decisions is different to looking at companies for investment uh, opportunities we have a video where we differentiate uh, investing and trading uh, so that people can understand okay so yeah that's it uh, for today like we said there's a lot of other companies that you might be interested in and then you can go to the company website uh, to find the information about uh, the stock at this moment i was looking at one of a uh, potential anti-cancer drug remember cancer is different especially between people so there's never gonna be well at this moment there's no drug that can treat uh, everybody all at once everything just work uh, at different levels so now uh, mac has got fda approval of this uh, k truda uh, which is uh, a drug that they are planning to use the, here they were highlighting the clinical trials what uh, kind of information that uh, they have found from these things so maybe we can expect that a uh, key truder and the keynote uh, keynote is also another drug that will be in the fda drug uh, pipeline so that's it uh, for today that is all that uh, i wanted uh, to share with you if you found this uh, video informative and you haven't subscribed please uh, consider subscribing and again i would like to ask you that uh, you smash the like button and feel free to share this video with other people that you think uh, might find value in this video. I will see you in the next video.